Hello. What's the crack? Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the Magic Minds Meditation Sessions. How's your week going? I know some people call it uh, Wednesday hump day. Is a hump day? Is that what they call it? All the days seem to be merging into each other, don't they? I was only asked this morning by somebody, what was I doing last night? I couldn't remember. <laughs> All the days seem the same. Uh, so hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully this five day little challenge is of benefit here. Um, my thinking around it was, okay, we can all find five minutes in the day to park off for an activity or an interest that we're pursuing. And if you can't put five minutes off for meditation, I'd be saying to you, you definitely need meditation. And I used to say that to myself, if I couldn't find 20 minutes or 10 minutes, I'd be like, you must definitely need it. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, my thing was, park the five minutes off, then just focus on the breath. All we're doing is breath. Coming back to our breath, coming back to our breath. But let's not worry about the why or the benefits of meditation or mindfulness or awareness. All we're doing is training ourselves how to do something. Coming back to the breath, coming back to the breath. Finding a, a, our anchor in our body, which is our belly and our breath. And then that's it. We build the practice, you know, five days, then become six days, become seven. Right, we've got a bit of consistency, we've got a bit of momentum going here. Wow, I'm actually participating in meditation consistently now. Okay, then it becomes part of our, our, our habits, our lifestyles. Then you start reaping the rewards of it, you know. Uh, that's my that's my thinking around it. I try not to get too lost in the why do it, you know, and, and, and bamboozling people with the, the benefits of meditation. You know, because then that just becomes vague. And am I doing it right? Am I not doing it right? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Lorraine, no, it's not live on, on Instagram as well. I don't know how to do that. I have to link up with some. I think I have to get an app or something. I'll have to talk about, I'll have to talk to uh, me, me pal um, Andy, see how I go about doing that. I haven't a scooby do how I do that. Uh, it's a good idea actually but yeah look I'm just I'm here for now <laughs> it's, it's nearly all I can do uh, so look when we get cracking uh, we'll park off for five minutes and get cracking let's go I'll set the alarm so find yourself a comfortable position whether you want to stand or sit and settle yourself into your, your seat or your position gently close your eyes Bring an awareness to your breath, where you first feel it coming into your body. And at any stage your mind drifts away, just come back to your breath, where you feel it on your nose, your lips, the rise and fall of your chest or belly. Let that just be your anchor. Breath in, breath out. Keep bringing your, your mind back to your breath, like you would a child and a puppy. You just be gentle and you're kind, no judging, no criticizing. Now let's place our hand on our heart and on our belly. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Make it as long as you can. Breath into our nose and out through our mouth. Now I'd like you to bring your awareness to your belly. Breath in, feel that hand rising that's on the belly. In and out. Like you would when you see a child breathing, their belly will rise and fall, rise and fall. Each time you take your breath in, see can you fill that balloon like belly further each time breath in the balloon or your belly rises and then it falls each breath is sending signals to your mind to relax to your nervous system to your muscles to your whole body relax we're not telling ourselves to relax we're sending messages to our nervous system Tell our body and ourselves just to relax. All is okay. We are okay. Let 
slow or breathing down if possible. So breath in through the nose and a slow or exhale through our mouth. Again, same again, long breath in through our nose and a slow breath out through our mouth. Bringing our awareness always to our hand that's on the belly. That is our anchor. Our mind drifts off and follows thoughts. We just come back to our anchor, which is our breath. Awareness of our breath. This time we're focusing on our belly. No judging or criticizing ourselves. We're just practicing mindfulness of breath. Practicing awareness. We're practicing being kind to ourselves. Thoughts will come and thoughts will go. And that's okay. We'll just watch them go by like we would. Cars or clouds or birds. We just be the observer. Just come back to our breath. Feel the rise and fall of your hand as you breathe in, breathe out. We're using all the mechanics of our respiratory system. Belly, diaphragm, ribs, lungs, chest. All in unison as we breathe in and breathe out. Now place your hands back on your lap. Palms facing up. Bringing aliveness to our toes and our feet and our hands. Bringing a sense of presence back into the room where we are. Bringing alertness to our, our body and our mind. At any stage you're ready to open your eyes, we'll bring the practice to a close. Namaste, namaste. Hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, that is that is the most simple form of mindfulness of breath, awareness, meditation. All we're doing is training our mind just to come back. We're not trying to control the thoughts. We're not trying to, to dampen them down. We're not trying to stop things coming or going. We're just practicing being the observer of a going boy. Ah, look at that, look at that. And this is in the essence of practicing being kind to yourself. When for years I've been told, be kind to you, be kind to you. And I didn't know what that meant. While in practice, when you drift off and you follow a thought, and you might be two minutes, three minutes, and you go, ah, look at me. I've been thinking about that thing in the job or what my mate said to me. And you go, come on back to your breath, come on back to your breath. You didn't judge yourself, you didn't criticize yourself. You just says, Look at me, I just drifted off. I'll just come back to me breath. Each time, like you would a puppy putting them back to their mat, back to their bed. Come back, come back, come back. A nice soft approach to yourself. That in itself is practicing love and kindness. That's you being sound to yourself. That's what you would say to a friend. Just come back, it's okay, it's okay. And when we start instilling, <coughs> excuse me, when we start instilling that into our practice, okay? We're off the chair, we're going on the house, we drop something, we make something, or we call somebody a name, or we get pissed off. We just go, that's okay. We won't judge ourselves. We're allowed to make mistakes like we did in our practice of breath. We just came back. We just came back. That's how you start reaping the war rewards <coughs> Excuse me, of your practice. You bring it into your everyday life. When I'm ruminating, when I'm ruminating, you interrupt and you redirect. And you say, I'll just come back to my task. I'm washing the dishes or I'm eating my dinner. You're thinking, 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 thinking. You just say, no, 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 come on. Interrupt, redirect. I'll just come back to doing what I'm doing. And I'll be kind to myself. So these are the benefits of meditation. But we're really coming back to the essence of back to breath, back to breath. No judging ourselves. We're practicing love and kindness for ourselves. This is how we do it on a chair. This is the, for me, this is one of the fundamentals to how you begin to, to not judge yourself. Be kind to you. And then you start to understand yourself and you then be kind to other people this is how I 
developed it many many other things there's many ducks you need to get in a row but for me one of the purest forms of not judging yourself is in your practice because many times i've got up out of practice years ago and oh i'm shit at this and can't even meditate what's wrong with me like everyone else can meditate i can't what what, what did i do wrong and then you go do you know what this is just a practice <clears throat> excuse me i've got hay fever so i'm all bummed up this is just a practice there's no medals for meditation there's there's no perfect way to do it the only way is perfect is finding your way and you just be kind to yourself whether it's love and kindness meditation whether it's mindful of breath whether it's chanting whether it's pranayama yada 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 you find what works for you but it's all back to breath breath keep coming back keep training the mind to just come back just come on back and then it just slows down gets a little easier but when you stop pushing and resisting yourself and giving yourself a hard time and throwing in the tyrannies of should I should do this and I should do this and I should do that nah this is just the way it is today, Larry or Mary. This is just how I'm going to roll today. I, some days I get up, like this not here this morning. I meditate this morning. And I was planning this. I was planning that. I was planning what I'm going to say in the podcast later. I was 12 minutes, 15 minutes went by. <laughs> and I was miles away. And I just shrugged my shoulders. I finished. The bell went. I got up. Oh, sorry, my clock bell. I get up. The bell went. And I went, that's just the practice. That's just the way it is. That in itself is learning. So I didn't give myself a hard time about it. I shrugged my shoulders. I smiled. Like, if you think back, right, and I've talked about this in the video before, when you were a kid, learn to go on a bike, learn to swing on a swing, whatever. You were learning something. You fell over. You got back up. I don't remember me. Anyway, as a kid, I used to go, oh, jeez, that's gas. Jump back on, jump back on, jump back on. Keep going, 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 going. But as we get older and we're adults, we, we, we have this social pressure. We should be doing this and it should be that. And it's this, this. What if we're just carefree and went, that's just the way it is. I'm just practicing, practicing, practicing. And we don't resist and we just keep going and just trying our best. That, that in itself as well, for me, is another form of being kind to you. So there you go. I talked a little bit longer. I'm really sorry. I wasn't planning to do that. It's just something I'm very, very passionate about. But that is the essence of it. It's being kind to yourself. And you can do it right here now in your mat or on your mat or on your chair. Is not judging yourself. You're doing your best. You're learning a new skill and it's a practice, 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 practice. We're all just in the same boat. We're all practicing, practicing. Even I, I done a, an interview in Thailand with a, a monk, a uh, hom, and uh, he was nervous before the interview and I saw him afterwards. And he says, I was very nervous. And I said, wow, I, I assumed that you'd be, you like walk on war, like you're like a uh, superhero. And he just laughed when he says, no, he said, I get nervous. And I was like, that's deadly. Thanks for telling me that. And he says, but your you know, eye engagement, he focused on my eye engagement. Because when I'm interviewing people, sometimes I'm like a serial killer. I'm eating the words out of their mouth because I'm so interested. <clears throat> so look, even the monks find it difficult to, to sit and stay. It's just a practice, so be kind to you. Have a fantastic day. And as always, mind your little self. If I can help you in any way, please get in contact. If we can support you, uh, please get in contact. Please share our, our videos. Send us your comments. Thanks, Nora. You're, you're an old star. Thank Keith Riley, uh, Lorraine. Lorraine, thanks for your love and kindness uh, and rooting for me. You up the liberties. Uh, and everyone that participates in the group, I really, really appreciate it. Invite people onto the group. Uh, uh, yeah, have a fantastic time. And mind your little self. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.